It's a less than stellar result compounding Guam DOE Head Start's citation for violating environmental, health, safety, and child rights by the U.S. Department of Education, which seemingly not much progress has been made to correct since notification in March. Guam Education Board member Angel Sablon giving insight into the results shared in that private meeting. They found that there is a total lack of leadership and also a total lack of communication. Leadership in the sense that the director or whoever says the leadership there is not leading and is not telling his her staff whoever can make actions happen at Head Start what to do. Communication because the same thing. The leadership was not providing the staff, the principals, the teachers, the people that need to effectuate what needed to be done in the different schools any communication. It's leadership and communication critical to addressing issues like unfenced playgrounds, the lack of an appropriate amount of staff to student ratio mandated federally, and the results of lead testing. And after already requesting an extension to correct the deficiencies from the feds, GDOE's Head Start program is standing on its last leg. GDOE's Head Start program now has 90 days to make fixes or risk losing federal funding. If nothing happens, by March 5th, we're going to lose the funding for Head Start. Sablon adding it shouldn't have taken the pressure of the strict deadline to get going on making the necessary changes. We just found out also that there's $2.3 million that have been unexpended by Head Start. And what gets me so pissed off is that I, we keep hearing, oh, there's no money for this, there's no money for that, there's no money for anything. And then Head Start comes here and says, you even haven't used $2.3 million. It's still there on the table, untouched. What a shame. GDOE Superintendent Dr. Kenneth Swanson told KUAM, to his understanding, the 90-day time frame is to at least get construction started. But Sablon contends that's merely Swanson's interpretation, arguing he understands that March 5th deadline differently. That's his interpretation. What we got from Region 9 Head Start is that if it is not done by March 5th, whether it's construction or what, the deficiency has not been cleared. Education Oversight Chair Senator Chris Barnett, who also attended last week's meeting, states, It's very disappointing that federal Head Start program reps have put GDOE on notice since March, yet we haven't seen any real movement to address their concerns. Now we are in jeopardy of losing the program, but many stakeholders are telling me they don't feel any urgency from GDOE. Superintendent Swanson and GDOE need to start treating this like the emergency it is.